Wellsy, Wellsy, Wellsy. As we can see here, parts of the one of the old college buildings going down. And yes, I know I said I was going to give you a view of this light last time I was along this way, so here you go. Anyway, apologies for the wind noise, but morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And yeah, let's start it off here. So, as you can see, college building down there. And this is what it's all going to look like apparently. Got the work readiness and everything, and every part of the campus. Obviously, money from DOE. It's still slightly a bit of a public access right now. There's other stuff going on as well. Don't worry, I will be viewing other things around as well. I'm just having a quick sneaky shifty down here since a few of you might have seen other things just so I can have a look at what other parts are and whatever down here. Now, yes. I probably would have been part of this college if I hadn't have gone to uh, Runshaw all them years ago but I mean Runshaw was slightly the easiest one to get to back when I was doing college you know all those eons ago as it seems but yeah like you know you can see long hair and everything and all of that lot so Yes, it is a weekend and it does make a bit of a difference that it is actually sunny and bright in comparison to what it was when I did the last filming session away in Preston. So, yeah, you can see the, there's a lot of land and space actually that is uh, open here. Anyway, I'll give you a quick view of where we are around the back here. Oh, that lot, I think that's the UCLAN one of the buildings which is an association or does some courses in association with UCLAN I believe but yes we have a lot of other stuff going on in town not just that and there's other little bits of news which I will get to as well if the wind stops playing with my hair anyway pause so we're back on the main area and with all of this lot still being kind of having vegetation grown in it you wouldn't uh, kind of you know it wouldn't be a bit of a miss without something hopping out of there we got the beast from the lagoon and yes we've still got the pit of doom over by yonder now then with all of this now then since as I can see over there there's a little bit of rust and degradation on that rebar now then because they've left a lot of this lot open to the elements is a lot of the internal concrete work graded has been able to deal with exterior stuff who knows that could be more work to build more work and there's still little bits like that where it's all blown out as well so bits there that are blown out that's going to be interesting how they're going to fit that how they're going to fix it but going over there so if these rumours are true of work happening in the next month or so or starting up again soon because there's obviously they're going to need to clean and grade more of the stuff over here and just that pile that's happening over there they're going to have to concentrate on this bit first to make sure that everyone that's in the market hall over there can be moved to over here but it all depends on how it's all going to work out especially with the bits of some of the old mall and everything still there some of the Victorian brickwork and that still needs like pointing up and a bit more care going into it for that the undercroft over there obviously I don't know anything about what's going on here apart from what I see with my own eyes which yes I do need glasses and I am going blind but I don't care about that right now there's a lot of other issues it is going to be interesting though because some of the other parts of the rumours are ideas and things might be changing because if the college does join up with a university maybe one of those apartment blocks could become student block 
so we could have student accommodation around. Just a theory, just a theory. Nothing concrete yet. <laughs> concrete, I don't know, but still nothing. Nothing concrete, nothing known yet. But there is possibilities that if the college does align itself more with a university, that one of these sort of apartment blocks could possibly tenable moment there will possibly get turned into student accommodation especially with the idea of the, the hotel or stuff so there is other things that go on with that but I mean all that rebar there all that rebar that's over there scrap man will be happy with that especially with a lot of that so there's going to be quite a lot of cleaning up to do but I mean there is still going to be like eateries and stuff going on and obviously entertainment spaces somewhere in here don't know where if they're changing all the plans or anything like that and other bits and pieces but I mean yeah things are going to happen it's just going to be slow unfortunately anyway I will move you all the way from here so I will pause for now and then we will go somewhere else and I will tell you more news that I have found out some of it you probably already might have read in the news then, by the way or online but hey it's developments and it's actually something pos positive so, pause for now. So, yes, as it says, Rebuild with Hope are taking over the old Wilco's building, yeah? Once the power gets turned back on and things start progressing a little bit for them, they will be moving into hair. So, actual progress will be made. There is a reason behind them moving from where they are in the old Debenhams to here because what's happening is they're going to be vacating the Debenham space because there is going to be a stacks unit built inside there with a lot of modifications see to my face for a second so a lot of the stuff will be going inside the Debenhams building and uh, will be like taken away and everything from inside that unit with eateries um, alcohol cellars a stage for live entertainment the upper floor will be cut out and then turned into a bit of a uh, kind of you know viewing platform and area and upstairs uh, like veranda with some of the area which is actually going around the back which I will show you in a second if I can actually get around there without uh, collapsing because I'm miles out of shape but yes there will be uh, work's done on there things will be opening up and changing for the season not the season but until about Christmas when works should fully get underway and then around the back will be a bit of an extension and areas pointing more towards the uh, parking lot so let's just go up here for a second anyway just so we can see where some of the uh, possible extensions and new walkways and areas would be because there is a few other areas around here which are also getting redone at the same time anyway spin you around so viewing towards the life building and the face yes I am out of breath I am miles out of breath I am well out of shape and I have been for years and I know that and I know I should be doing a lot more walking and things but I'm not doing unfortunately I am way not fit but anyway the civic building which is having its revamp and redo and everything but whether this bit of weird semi-brutalist if you want to call it brutalist architecture is going on there is quite a bit of let's see let's quickly move over here there's a bit of uh, concrete degradation going on up there in that bit of the windows but progress has or has not been made but yeah as you can see over here ignore the cop car uh, issues of living in a town which is basically a city the way it is but I mean 
because this has been under project for two years now, give or take. But yeah, there's everything else that's going on and then we've got that, I think, what was the old pub? Was an old pub anyway, which is there. And we've got more of the stuff going on here towards, obviously, this car park and other stuff which goes on towards there. So I believe some of the possible extensions are going to come out from these office bays over here to going in towards there on the parking structure. Whilst I'm already up here anyway, I'm going to give you a bit more of a better view of things over there. So there'll probably be bike extensions or like walkthroughs and cutthroughs on the inside so that they don't kind of take away any of this down here or any of that from there. Possibly the back of that building is going to get redone. But I mean, this needs working on, or at least no idea what's going on now. But I mean, things are progressing anyway. Things are progressing somewhere. Somewhere, somehow, anyway. If I can film inside, I will do. If I can't, I can't. But I will give you a bit more of a view inside. I'm not going to go inside what was the Debenhams building, just because privacy and everything, but I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Anyway, so pause for now. Right. I couldn't do the recording there because I would get copyrighted with the music. There's so many people around. So, just being uh, nice to everyone. I won't put their faces on camera apart from my ugly mug, but yes. Um, the, so the main store at the bottom has actually um, been shuttered whilst they're moving a lot of the stuff in. They still have a presence inside there. Um, it's on the upper floor. So it's what was the old uh, TK Max uh, space. So they've got all their homewares and I think their fashion in there. Um, possibly until they move the majority of it into the other building or however they're going to work it out. Things are being sorted out anyway, that way. So um, yeah, they've uh, moved along there anyway. So that's something. But I don't know what's going on now. Anyway, uh, give you a quick, just a quick cheeky shifty through here so I can have a look at the progress that has been made this way, which is not a lot really. But some work has been done on there. Well, not much has really happened. Anyway, uh, the Anyway, end it at this point for this, this uh, catch up and explore. So, if you want to continue the quest to 500, smash that sub. If you spotted anything or you want to say anything, then uh, stick it all down in the com comments below. If you like it, and uh, slash, s smash that like button. Smash you, obviously. Um, anyway. Peace out. See you start side. Don't give yourself a brain aneurysm. Practice good mental health. You only get out of life what you put in. So if you put the minimum in, you only get the minimum back. Goodbye. Peace out. Goodbye.